Okay, it is uh, October 8th. We're in our home area of uh, Washington State. We're gonna be looking for a pie mushroom today. So this is the environment that I am actually foraging in. So you guys can take a good look at it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very open. Not many bushes underneath, mostly bare grass and old, uh, old skid trails from where they log. Looking around that type of area. In this series, we're gonna cover how to look for pine mushroom in uh, Gifford National Forest. Okay, this is day one. And we did find some already. Check this out. Right here, Smiley. Under the bear grass. This is what we call bear grass, and it's right underneath there. See that? First pine of the day. Uh, not first one, but look. Close that up, but look right here. Here, see the mound, little one right here? We're not touching that. So, we're on the mushroom. Yeah, dude, over here, they grow in like clusters. Look at that. Somebody came already, beat us here. It's probably my uncle. <laughs> okay, there looks to be an abundance of mushroom this year around here. Because from all the dig mark, it seemed like uh, quite a lot, quite a bit. So stay tuned, see if I'm right. Okay, here we go, spotted some more. And um, here we go, you see that right there? You see that baby right there? Yeah, we'll have to leave that alone. There's another mound here. This is just to show you, okay? Let's turn it around. Just to show you, so you can get a better view of what you're actually looking for. That looks big enough. Yeah, those two are small. He's big enough. Yeah, it's different than um, it's different than a shemot. There's another mound. See right there. See, that's another mound. Let's see if we can find more over here. I, I do see one below me. But we're trying to find some bigger stuff. And it's just starting. Oh, there's one under that. Under that branch over there. And, uh, you know, like I said before in my previous video, once you're on them, just slow down. See that? Oh, yeah. And they look a little bit different too than the ones from Shamal. Okay, here's an area where uh, people have already dug. See that? They dug there. So it indicates that there is a lot of mushroom here, but we got here late. But what you do is you look around that surrounding area. You look for mounds. Mounds and crack like we've been doing throughout the season. Here's a, here's a line of crack that goes like that. Is there anything under here? See that? See there? And you see there, right? So, look at that, they're tiny, so. I regret, <laughs> I regret it. But, just below there, this here. That's a mound. You see how it's a little bit blackish? Instead of, you know, like that, see, a little bit blackish. Guarantee you it's mushroom. That's one. And there you go. They're still tiny. They're considered number three, and they do pay. You can sell them as number three. If you're saying, oh, they're too tiny, don't take it. I tell you what, 
the people that's going to come behind me, they see that, they're going to take it all. I wish I could farm it, but I can't. And then here's another subtle mound down right below it too, right here. Lots of mound too. There you go. Look at the baby. Oh, I'm covering that back up. I don't think it's going to grow after you uncover the top because I think it needs a little bit of a top pressure to keep growing. But hey, we'll try it. We'll experiment. That's if we... uh if we're able to get back to it before somebody else does. Okay, here's another mound right here. There's a crack right there. See, there you go. It's very subtle. That's a pretty subtle mound. Okay, let's continue with our how to pick pine in Gifford. Okay. So every time I walk up to where people have already dug, I just keep looking off to the side of it, around it. See like there's somebody dug here, there. And just below, there's a mound here, mound here. Okay. at that <laughs> I think this area is gonna pop <sighs> yeah and we do come back to areas like this like throughout the whole season you know four days three days later we'll come back <sighs> but it's a t over here it doesn't really hide too well so it's just a race to whoever gets here first Hopefully when you guys watch this video, you know, you're able to find more Like a viewer said that uh, she found six mushrooms from watching my videos I mean, it's not a lot, but for a beginner to start finding some, that's that's pretty big And the more you uh, The more you are used to seeing how they grow like this, you'll eventually find more and more and more each time so good for her. See the dug around here too. And there we go. See they dug around there. See that dig mark. And you look right by here. See? There's one right there. There's another small one right here. Yeah. We're gonna take it because uh, there is a lot of people here that comes up here. They, we came from the top, and they come from the bottom, and <laughs> they have like a whole crew of uh, seniors. I'm not knocking on seniors. I'm, you know, I applaud them for coming out, but that's their crew. They would come out, pick pine mushroom. You know with their crew here that's good exercise keep the heart pumping keep young yeah there's babies you can see babies I'm not even touching them it's too small to be worth my time whoever comes along at the right time they can have it okay here we go again this is where they dug we're back to the how-to video, how to pick pine mushroom in Gifford. So they dug around here they, throughout that whole area, but if you get closer, you'll find some. So this is the reason why I'm making the video, so you guys can find more. Even in areas where people have already looked. Oh my god, it's too small. There's probably a whole bunch more right here. I can see mounds. I'm not even going to touch them. 
There's a little mound right here, right here, right here, right here, and here. This is, we'll take this one. It's big enough. And then right next to him, this one, that's a mound. That is a lot. This area is gonna have hell. Uh, to show you, I'm not lying to you. See that? Uh, since we removed it, we'll take it. But there is plenty of more around here. So who's ever lucky enough to come back around this area when they're up and they're big enough? Good for them. There's another one. See right there. Okay. There you go. Another one here. Yeah, there's a lot of babies. Oh my god. Oh, you see that this they dug here. See that? Here's one here, I think. Whoa! Yep. This one's not gonna make it. It's already drying out. See? How do I know this area has mushrooms? Because I pick here every year. <laughs> and I actually make a map in my head of uh, which spot grows thickest. And I, I take that route. I hit one here. I hit this patch. I hit that patch. And so on. Okay, let's get back to foraging, okay? Just as I turn off the camera, uh, they took one there, one there, and they took one here. But right here, right by where they took, there we go. See that? So don't be discouraged. You know, if you come into an area where people have already picked, you can still find some if you choose to stay in that area. Like here, here's another one here. There's one right there. We took, see, look, babies. You see that? He's big enough. He's a small baby. There we go. Yeah, when they're just starting out like this, I'm going to let you know that they're not going to leave it once they open it. Here's a mound. See that mound? Right there. They're going to take it. Oh, he's a nice one. Finally. Decent number one. Here we go. So all you do is you look around this kind of stuff underneath it, around it. Yeah, don't be discouraged when you come into an area where people have already picked. It, ser it also serves as an indicator to you that there's much more around. And if they dug a lot, remember for next year and the year after, <laughs> just try to get here sooner than them. Okay, continue on. Okay, I spotted another mound. Right there. See that mound? See that? And bingo. See any more mount? Oh, there it is. Up here. 
up here. Okay, it's a big mound. There's a mound, little mound here, here. Big mound right there. Look at that. He's gonna be a nice one. <laughs> nice. If you're loving the video, please hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. Okay, enjoy the rest Another of the video. Right here. Honestly, you cannot tell from the crack how big the mushroom's gonna be. And then, you know, like when once you uncover it, in my opinion, it doesn't grow back because it needs that top pressure from the ground to keep growing. Here's a good size one right here. <laughs> it really, really helps for you to go slow when you find them. Like I said, you can see a lot better when you're going slow. Found a patch and he's going to dig it up for you. Let's videotape for show, right? Look. There. There. See. That's all mushroom. Yeah, look, he's, he's got quite a bit too. We've only started. About the same. Go ahead, dig it. See, see how he's uh, looking around, all around the area where he found it. Up, down, left, right. <laughs> okay. We'll let Smiley handle all that mushroom here. We'll, we'll go dig up our own. <laughs> yeah, he's still scouring around the area where he found it. That's what he's supposed to do. Okay. Okay, we're at our own spot where we found some. Let's get to it. Let's see, there's a mound right here. Then he looked here, another mound. Here, pull out another mound. See, there you go. Then she come up. There's another mound here, and here, and then here. See, makes a bulge. There you go. Oh man, a lot of babies. Yeah, and these are considered number threes. And they do pay for number threes. But this one is one. I mean, as you're leaving it, the other people that come and pick here, they're not going to leave it. They're going to take everything. That's why the ground tear it up. And another one. Yeah. By the looks of things, I think this is going to be a great year here in Washington. Nope, it's all good. Yeah, I, I like using my hand. I'm a hands on type of guy. <laughs> I don't really like to use a stick to disturb the mycelium underneath the ground where the pine sits. So that's my excuse. <laughs> we'll try to leave the babies, these guys here. Yeah, no point in taking them. If it's a little bit bigger, I take it. Oh, 
You, okay, yeah. Well, if you want big ones, you gotta find a spot where people like, didn't. Like that? Yeah. You gotta find a spot where uh, people walk by it, didn't spot it yet. You might get some big ones. Because we're finding after people's dig marks. Back to our lesson. See that? You can find these where the animals eating already. Just look around there and you will find some. Here's a baby one right here. See that? Exactly. Damn it. Darn it. You will find some. Right here, here's a mound. Right on top of it, right there. Then you come here. There's another mound right here. Oh, somebody took that. Another eaten up one. Another eaten up one. So, the animals ate them. Let's get this guy. Okay. Yeah, this, this is what they call bear grass. I know I said that before. Yeah. He ate up right here too, see that? I wanna look under the bear grass, see? Okay. Look under the bear grass, see that? We found one under the bear grass. Yeah. Uh, the animal ate, is in the bear grass. Saw the animal ate it, and then looked around there, found some. So, that's how you look around areas where you see an animal that's eaten up. You look by it. Here's another one, see? Look at that, in the bear grass. And there's another one over there. You can see it from here. Right here. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all, that's how I saw it. Is the animals eating it? But I've been finding some in the bear grass. And uh, these do. They're pretty sharp, kind of like a razor. So be careful handling that. I spotted. Yeah, if it's not the forager, we got animals to compete with. <laughs> okay, there's another small one, I'm not touching it. Good size one and another good size one. Another one right here. There's more mound over there too. Yeah, this area here, the deer are quite rampant. <laughs> yeah, they'll eat 40, 50 and leave you like two. That's if they leave you any. Cool, yeah. yeah. See, he ate that one. Look how many he ate. One, two. Yeah. Okay, I'm finding a patch here too. Yeah. This one, the animal ate it, not people. I see more over there too.
And all you do is you look thorough, thoroughly in that area. Yeah, he just plucked it up with his mouth. Here's another mound right here. Nice one. There's another one. Marty's found some too. Everybody's got about the same amount. That one, there's one there, and now there. There we go. Too small. that one. Another mount right here. Yeah, you gotta be careful when they have a root on top. Another one right here. I'm on my knees. <laughs> Got to tell you that. That's why I'm seeing a lot more. Because I'm closer to the ground. There's another one here. Baby one there, baby one there, and I'm not gonna touch it. Let's see if they grow. There's another mound. This one's big enough, I think. There's a few more mounds over there too. Oh, it's a small cluster. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, shoot. I'm gonna leave it. I don't, I disturbed it, but. Oh, look at that. Clusters, too. Crap. <laughs> ah, there's another mound here. 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 See, looks can be deceiving. I thought that was tiny and this one too. They're actually perfect button size. Ah, uh, shoot. Ah? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Have you noticed that they grow in the line, right? Mom spotted some. See, that's where I just dug. And there's is babies around here. So let's get the facial. Kids want to see them. Grandkids want to see her. We are now coming to the end of our video of how to forage for uh, pine mushroom masataki part one. So look for the upcoming part two video. Hopefully we'll be out pretty soon. Okay, have a good day. Happy foraging. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Kill mom too.
and share the video.